who I worked at this store called Miller's Outpost in Fountain Valley, California. And I thought to myself, you know what, it's no fun being poor. So I devised this scheme to steal hundreds, if not a thousand or more pairs of Levi jeans. I worked out the security system, what the code was. I climbed up inside uh, the attic and found out where the cameras were at. I ended up leaving work that day and I went out to this park and I found a piece of paper on the ground and it was all crumbled up. I went to pick up that piece of trash and I was gonna go throw it in the trash can and it was a gospel track. And on the flip side was an invitation to go to this crusade, this harvest crusade. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna put this heist of stealing all these jeans, I'm gonna put this off until tomorrow night. Yet tonight, I'm gonna to go to this crusade. So I remember sitting there. And Greg Laurie, he shared a verse, he said, what would it profit a man if he gains the whole world and yet he forfeits his own soul? And my sin was brought before me. I was a covetous individual. I wanted to steal these jeans. And it was as if God reached down into the dark cavern of my heart and he did the one thing for me that I couldn't do for myself and he turned my heart towards him. So I ended up walking forward. And the next day, I end up going back to this store that I was working at. And now I become a hard worker. I was there for one week and then two weeks after being born again, and I was interacting with uh, the guy that was head of security. And I'm talking to him about this change that took place inside my life. And one of them looked at me and said, so does this mean you're not gonna carry through and carry out this heist? And they were on to me. But God was so gracious to intervene in the whole thing and the whole thick of things and just said, you know what, this isn't going to take place. You know, the Bible says if any man's in Christ, he's a new creature. The old things have passed away. Before I became a Christian, you know, my heart was, it was vile. It was disgusting. I, I did seek after myself. When I became a Christian, it was really at that point that the blinders were removed. I said, no. I'm gonna save you from going down a road of heartache and trouble and issues, and I'm gonna give you a new mind and a new heart. Now, I don't know when this life is gonna to come to a halt, but I do know that we're all part of that ultimate statistic, that death is gonna come knocking at an inopportune time for each one of us. And when death comes knocking, we're all going to answer that door. And the only thing that's going to matter is what did you do with Jesus Christ? We are vile before a holy God. You say one lie, you're a liar. You steal one thing, you're a thief. You know, a rapist doesn't need to rape 10 people to be considered a rapist. And once we recognize who we are in truth, that we are vile and disgusting, and that our heart is beyond black, then we look to him who can save us, and that's Jesus Christ. And as I look at my life, I go, man, I just want to live my life for God's glory and I make mistakes, and I fail. And I think of the sin and the things that I've done that I'm ashamed of, the things that I've done in my life that I go, I don't want anybody to know about those things. And then Christ comes along, and he wipes the tears from the eyes, and he says, you're mine. You're my child. I love you. I gave my life for you. And I want you to know that Christianity is not about you. It's about me. And I stand in awe of what he's done, in awe of what he's doing currently, what, in awe of what, what he's doing in my kid's life. And I look at my, my beautiful bride, Laura, and I stand amazed at the family that God has given me. And I don't deserve it. I deserve to be an ember in the pit of hell. And God said, no, you're mine. You're mine, you're twice mine, I made you and I bought you, and I've created you for myself. Let's go, let's go. 
If you want to know more about the true biblical God and the redemption he offers, please click the video to the left. If you want to see one of our latest films, please click the video to the right. And I would encourage you guys to subscribe to our channel to keep up with all our latest videos and content by clicking the big orange subscribe button above. There is a dying world who desperately needs to know the gospel and the truth that Christ offers. So please share this film with everyone you know. And thank you so much for your continued support and prayers.